Okay guys, hello, welcome to episode 82 of the Gone for a Burton Save, I'm the Custard Prophet. So, it's been 24 hours for you guys, but I haven't recorded a video for, I think, 7 days now. I've been away in the beautiful city of Munich, well actually not Munich, but just outside of it, um, with work. Um, so I'm coming back and trying to remember how to do this. Um, I did manage to get all the videos sorted out, but this one may be, may be a bit hit and miss whether this actually gets it up for 7 o'clock or not. Apologies in advance if it is not there in time. But we're just doing one, um, one game today and we will play a couple of games tomorrow. So since last time, a few transfers in, a few transfers out. Uh, those, those, the, the one's gone out is uh, Pugmal. He's, he's left the League One Bolton, which kind of shows his value uh, and his level, really. Um, yeah, probably a mistake. In has come this guy who's been looking to come in for a while, Uros Smelj, who is a Serbian, only 23 years old. He's only had a cap for Serbia, but he looks a fairly pacey lad, which, as I always say, is what I look for in my wingers. Uh, they don't need to do much else, but he can cross the ball and can dribble, so I think he's. He's got the important bits to um, play on that left side and probably a better uh, bet than the uh, the other guy whose name escapes me because I haven't been playing this for a, a week who starts with V. Um, the, the other guy we have bought in is someone I have just got in so we've been looking for that replacement for Will Hughes. We've had a number of issues trying to get that person but this is the man I bought in, Diacate. He looks a decent all-round player, again fast, strong, um, decent finishing actually for 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 that for that place. But importantly, he's got really good passing, really good off the ball, and really good vision. So I think he is going to be a decent player in that, and we'll be playing him probably as an advanced playmaker, something like that. So in the last couple of games you will notice that the FH game is not 7-0 I had a little bit of a cock up with the save so I played the same team again uh, we got a slightly different result but um, well the same result but different scoreline we got goals from Christie, Alonso Damico with two penalty uh, with two goals and Depioli with, with a goal himself uh, the second leg of this was pretty straightforward Sammy Davis Jr. getting a couple uh, Damico getting another couple, playing quite well at the start here. Joe Power getting a goal. We started Ollie Hode for, uh, to see how he could do. He was absolutely brilliant, actually. And Kamara, our new centre-back, he got a goal as well. But the big news was that Andy Christie got himself injured. In other news, Alonso has also got himself injured, so we're a little bit um, light in terms of players uh, up top. But thankfully we have Sammy Davis Jr. In in some ways it's probably a good thing because it will mean that he can um, get some game time, get himself into the squad and hopefully he'll do all, uh, hopefully he'll do all right. I think the addition of Diacate is the key thing and the only place we're really lacking a little bit is on the right side but we can sort of tweak things around to make that not too bad. So as you can see in the uh, Euro Cup uh, third qualifying round we have drawn AEK Athens who are not a bad side at all uh, you will see here um, yeah three and a half star reputation so that is not bad at all and you know they're a decent side in their league so we are going to have some this is going to be a tricky game so which is why I want to play both legs so we're going to start here um, mainly because I need to get this up fairly quickly playing the first leg and then I wanted to get the, the first game recorded uh, and, and the second leg so we're going to play those two in the in the second video uh, and then we'll see how we go from there so hopefully that sounds cool and we will we will move forward always forward never backwards on to the first game so this is the team we're going with you'll notice Andy Christie is um, back fit uh, so we got Walton in goal Hammond, Kamara, Fry, Power at the back. Uh, Bush gets in uh, the defensive midfielder role. And Allen and Quintana. So Diacate is going to improve that hugely. And then the front three, Damico, Christie on left and right, and Sammy Davis Jr. up top. Hopefully this is enough to get through uh, this AEK side. But I think this is going to be tricky. And we have shown that we are not quite as good as we think we are at the back. Um, so... 
we will see how we can do. It's going to be a bit tricky. Right, so they're playing a sort of a slightly narrower formation. They've got a player with a face, which is always scary. Although that's probably just the amount of faces that I've got loaded in this game rather than anything else. So here we go. AEK, Burton against AEK, Athens. Are we going to get knocked out of this competition early on? We're going to stay, going to stay on uh, balanced with the hope that we can create a little bit of difficulties for this team. I'm not happy that we haven't got Diakite in there. We, they took forever to make the transfer happen, which was really disappointed. Disappointed. It was really disappointing. Um, or bitten court. Bear. That's a pajanka. Come on, guys. They're playing us like a fool, sir. Lovely bit of play there from the defence. Pajanka. No, that's just nothing like that. Pajaka. Gania. Oh, it's, they've gone. We got 1 0 down after two minutes. Not a good start, guys. Not a good start. Let's get creative. Um, I told you this was going to be a more difficult game. Um, but let's hopefully we'll, we'll create some chances. And Davis. Damico. Damico. Lovely ball out wide to Joe Power. Is he going to have a shot? He might, you know. Oh, get in the way of things. Christy. Loses the ball, Gania, and they shove it up top into Fry. Up, up to power. Uh, inside to Bushcats. There's been some interest in Bushcats. Allen, nice ball out wide. We're spraying it wide, very, very nicely. Damico into Christie. Oh, what's going on? It's <laughs> no. How does that stay out? How does that stay out? That defies laws of physics. Biology, everything. Oh, well. Clear cut chance, and we screw it up. Not good. Not good, guys. It'll be gutting to go out really early in this competition. Well, we're getting chances. This is good. Christie's not going to play the full game, I can tell you that much. We're going to probably go positive here. They've got another chance. A second of the game. Power. And Damico. We're going to go on the break here. Christy. He's the man you want on the break. He's so dangerous. Don't shoot. Oh, what play from Christy. What play that was. Absolutely fantastic. He gets the ball here. You want him to pass it. But he, he can just beat teams on his own. They try and knock him off there. But... You know, he does not get knocked off the ball. What a player. It's 1-0. Right, we'll praise them after that. I mean, they've had one shot and scored a goal. That's a little bit annoying from our point of view. It's in. It's Kamara. His second of the season. Bubakar Kamara. Great first name. That was a fairly easy header. So that's nicely done. Allen with the corner. Kamara. He's not unmarked. Keeper goes flapping. And we're 2-1 up. This is better. This is much better. So we're looking, we are looking quite good. There's another chance here. Another highlight here. Nakos. Into Hammond. Hammond. D Damico here is running down the side. Christie. Christie. He's having a good game today. Oh, and Damico. It's 3-1. Very nicely done. For those of you who are wondering where Nabry is... We did try and get him back. Uh, we tried a few times, but they just wanted far too much money. We could have loaned him back, but it basically bankrupts us if we loan him and then have to spend half a million uh, every month. I mean, it was the right thing to do. It got us into this position, but I think let's let's make the most of it this season and hopefully Damico can step up to the plate in the second half of the season. Right, well, this is a great... Uh, apart from that first two minutes, we've played really well. This is very, very pleasing. Corner again, it's Allen. Allen whips it in. It's going to go back to Allen. No, no, Damico's got it, but he's Allen's got it again. Damico, nice cross in. Ooh, Nakos has to make a smart save there. It's good to see we are, we are creating chances. I would like just increase the cushion a little bit more. 
I mean, they, they don't look very dangerous, really, but you know, in Greece, it's going to be a harder prospect. I just, I don't think we're quite at the races at the back in the same way we are clicking up front. Damico, oh, well done, well done. Is there another chance? He's running through. Oh, that is, that is absolutely fantastic. Sammy Davis Jr. I mean, the keeper should have done better there, you'd think. Just smashes it at the keeper. He just deflects into the bat at back of the net. It was not really good goalkeeper. But Damico running through their team. I think it was the first time nature of the shot that just surprised the keeper. And he lets it in. So we're 4-1 up. This is looking quite good. Well, he's gone right through the back of him there, surely. No. Oh, they've had two shots on goal. And they've got two of them in the back of the net. That's a great name, Bassagog. That was a foul there. Ball goes over the top. Now, okay, I... I get that you give him the chance but oh, you've got to you've got to make the block there I mean it's a fantastic finish but 4-2 in the first half it's ludicrous let's get creative well you'd think there'll be more goals in the second half you really would think that we might be seeing Audrin very very soon Christie's on 68 I don't want to risk him too much Right, so we are going to bring Sammy Davis Jr. here on the right side. He can play there. We're going to put Audren up top. Because I just do not want Christie to get injured. He's so key to everything we do. Audren's a decent player. And it's a good opportunity for him to get some game time. But Garnier... Oh, that's awful. That's awful. Oh, dear. I mean, they've had three shots on target and they've all gone in. Walton, you should be doing better there, mate. A direct free kick, though. And I have, I have to say, we've had two or three direct free kicks that have gone in this season. I mean, look at this. What is going on here? Oh, come on, guys. Close them down. Mistake there from power. Nicely played Kamara into Kane Hammond. Nicely done, Adamico. Oh, that is a nice strike into the top of the net. They're always the best ones. Five, three. Well, this is a game and a half, isn't it? What's the second leg going to be like? 5-3, and we've still got 70 minutes, uh, 20 minutes to go. Right, we're going to make a change, I think. Um, Dapioli is coming on, on the right side. Interesting, he can play effectively in uh, central midfield. And we have used him there to sort of, uh, a little bit. But I, I'm a little bit worried how easy we are conceding goals at the minute. I don't think our centre-backs are quite in tune with each other. Right, we're going to make one last change. We'll bring on Hode. We'll go a little more attacking, just try and get a th a another goal, I think. Holly Hode had a wonderful game, as I said, in uh, the game against FH, the home game. So, let's see if he can get himself another goal here. He's not that good on paper, but, you know, as we say, this game played on paper. <laughs> they make the same. Well, yeah, take notice, Walton. That is what you should be doing. Defensively, it has been not the best, but we are 5-3 up. We've got a lead into the next leg and, and you've got to say we've probably the amount of chances we've created there we're going to be a threat in the second leg yeah I, I am very disappointed with their defensive I think attacking wise I was impressed and I was pleased with your playmaking we did okay in the middle midfield and the attack but at the back we were not what we should have been 
well it's great to be back great to be um, um, oops not the table yeah it's great to be back making videos after a, a week's break unfortunately next week I also have a small period of time away with work but I, I think bizarrely I'm gonna find it incredible quite difficult to get all the videos done to fill that up even though it's a shorter period um, just because I've got a load on this weekend and it's the only time I've had um, so hopefully there won't be but you may have the odd gap next week apologies for that in advance um, but, um, but yeah, there's nothing I can do about it I will work my ass off to try and make sure that doesn't happen but if it does that's the reasoning so if you have enjoyed this uh, please hit that like button uh, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. Comment down below. Let us know what you think the second leg is going to look like. Are we going to uh, get into the fourth qualifying round or whatever comes next after that? Or are we going to decide poor defending and cost us? Let me know. Cheers and see you next time. Cheers, bye. <laughs>